Jeremy Ross has more on those victims, who they were, and why one of them may have actually helped save some lives before he died. Jeremy. Well, the victims include grandfathers, fathers, and sons. Families that are shaken to their core, relying on one another in a time of crisis. The house has become like a place of worship. Shoes line the walkway of a Greenfield home. They're taken off as a sign of respect before entering a house scarred by violence. Oh, the emotions are up and down. I don't wish this on any human. Dozens visit from miles away in states outside of Wisconsin. It's called spreading grief. When one person has to grieve alone, they grieve deeply. When one person grieves with thousands, it's a lot less. The multiple shooting at Oak Creek Sick Temple of Wisconsin took half a dozen innocent lives, including 39-year-old Parkesh Singh and Armadik Kaleka's father. Once I knew, it, just, it hits you in the stomach like just a ton of bricks. Those murdered include the temple president, 65-year-old Satwat Singh Kaleka, 41-year-old Sita Singh, 49-year-old Ranjit Singh, 41-year-old Paramjit Kaur, and 84-year-old Suvig Singh Katra. It was amazing when FBI agents come and shake your hand and hug you and say, you know, your father's a hero. Kaleka says his father tried to stop the gunman and died in the process of protecting worshippers and his own wife. The final act of a father allowing for a moment of pride during a time when sorrow is easy to come by. Whatever happened, whatever my dad did, he bought a lot of time for other people. Now I asked some of the family members if they had anger towards the gunman, and they told me no. They actually felt sorrow towards him, sorrow for his rage, sorrow for his actions. We're live in Oak Creek. Jeremy Ross.